you on how to update the controller firmware. On that particular example, I'm having a KT100 controller. And the firmware right now is 01.04, right? Um, remember, you can use a demo version on the IntraPass, so you don't have to, to get a, a full license IntraPass to do that. Right now, as you can see on the top, I have uh, my station demonstration, right? Um, okay. So, first, I need to get to the Kentech website. Of course, I miss a point. First, I'm going to check on option system parameter firmware and why i'm doing that is to verify what firmware i currently have running on the software a variable in the software now i have 1.04 you can check firmware for each controller all right uh, and i'm going to the kentech website now to see what is the latest firmware available okay so you have to log in and then I go to software download, door controller, KT1 right now, we are, uh, of course, version 2.01, right? So that's what I need. I'm going to copy that firmware. It's copied and I have it there in my download folder, extract. So now I have the firmware available, right? I will copy that and let me show you how to find out where to <laughs> paste that. Of course, I go back to system parameter, firmware, KT1, and here, when I click, it's showing me where to paste that. Of course, I've done that already, but if you didn't do that yet, you're gonna go to the C folder, you're gonna look for that folder for the KT1. As you can see, it's on the program file, Kentech. Depending on the software you have, if it's server CE, SE, GE, firmware folder, and in the KT1, right? So I have that already there. I'm gonna double click and okay. Okay, again, I'm waiting a moment. What I'm doing now, I am adding the firmware in the IntraPass. Then I'm gonna verify firmware KT1, yes. Now I have the firmware in the IntraPass. I also have communication with the controller. You need to be able to, to, to update that firmware, you require communication with the controller, right? So I have my controller communicating. Of course, remember, we had 1.04. Now I'm going to make a right click and select Reload Controller Firmware. Yes. And I'm going to wait. So we're going to wait for the process to be completed. After that, we'll verify again. Mm -hmm. moving so we can see all the process and the event at the same time all right let's wait so after i have the confirmation i will that the firmware has been up, updated we'll check again and confirm the firmware version if we're good to go the process is the same for KT 400, 300, you know, any controller. And let me go back again to show you, for example, if I go option system parameter, firmware, you see KT 3 to 15, 400, KT 1, IP link, KT 100, and also the ICE, IO Smart Reader. Yes. With so. If we have new version available, new functionality enabled, 
so you might need to update firmware of your iosmart now let's keep waiting for that process to be complete okay and then we'll check if you check and the firmware is not updated you might have to do it the second time depending on on uh, how your communication quality of the communication right because for safety it will uh, move the firmware to the controller after it moves completely then it will update the controller firmware so process is almost done so after the updated firmware the controller is updated it will uh, we load we start i mean and then the communicate we lose communication communication will be back and then we're good to go to check the firmware so we'll be right back with you waiting for the process to be completed We can see the message here saying we load controller firmware completed. Of course, as I said before, we'll be losing communication. Yes, communication is gone. And the controller will, will load, we start, then communication is back. Okay. done okay so now time to find out yes we have the new firmware added to the controller 2.01 i hope this video will help you in case you need to update the firmware of your controller thank you very much